Hey guys, welcome to our review of Ahsoka Episode 8 and the series, uh, Season 1, rather. Because when I went on Disney+, Plus, it did say season finale instead of series finale. Ah, did we catch them? That they were definitely getting a season two. Uh, well, we'll see. After uh, after this, I know Ahsoka. Uh, I want. I have some stats here. It was the most streamed program across all platforms in the United States during the week of August twenty fourth through the thirty first of twenty twenty three. Uh, Ahsoka was again the most streamed programmed across all platforms in the United States during the week of September 4 through 10 uh, and during the week of September 11th uh, through 17th. So it's doing well. You know, there's conflicting reports. You got some other reports here that it's doing well. Non stop well. advertisements for it, though. So they're yeah. spending money. Um, and. So I, I've got some notes from, from previous episodes. You know, we do the breakdown, but I, I honestly, we just got to get right into this because, um, you know, my main note was, please be Thrawn fucking shit up. Uh, it was not. It was not Thrawn fucking shit up. It was Thrawn fucking up. And it was Thrawn fucking up. <laughs> uh, so first, let me say, this is, uh, did I like this episode? Yes. I thought it was a solid episode. I thought it was a very, very poor season finale. Agreed. It's a good episode. Agreed. 100%. Very poor season finale. I was like, finale. I like it, but it was like so much I left on it. the table. But I hate it. <laughs> it's so dumb. Yeah. And I think what's happening here is some other notes I took is, uh, it is, you know, see, this season is too short. These seasons at eight episodes, there's way, there's way too much stuff that we're having to fill in in our heads mm -hmm. because you don't have enough time. There's, there's not enough character development for characters like Sabine to iron out, you know, her tendencies and to give her a proper arc. It, it's just eight episodes is way too short. You know what's good? Andor. And or at 12 yeah. episodes. I feel if you go from 8 to 12, you give us four more episodes. You could have fleshed out all the Balin Shin stuff, yes. which they dropped the ball on, honestly, Big here. Uh, and, and you could have, you know, ironed out Sabine a little bit. Uh, explained, you know, the Ezra. There's so much missing with Ezra, like how he gets from point to point, And then here, how he how he gets from the shuttle to, to the, 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 the... It's just missing. It's like on the cutting room floor. Did they even bother filming it? It's I had to go back. I was like, did I miss something? Right. It is very frustrating. And it's visually great. The music is great. In fact, we get some fantastic saber combat scenes. Uh, some of the best the series has had. And I, I watched it this episode twice uh, just to, like, get, you know, my just let it absorb it because this is important. It's the finale. And I think it is a solid episode, a very poor season finale. What did you guys think? I'm in the same boat again. Uh, I liked it, but I was disappointed. Like it was an enjoyable watch, but there was still so much. I was, I was pretty pissed off. Yeah. With Thrawn doing was, dumb shit. Were I'm you like, disappointed? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I was. Um, I did like all those that cool action scenes and mm -hmm. like the music and still the atmosphere they're building. Mm -hmm. But again, these characters. Thrawn is not menacing. It's like, this, <laughs> he's supposed to be the best general. It's like, why did he do this? He's like, yes, um, I am here. What do you do? He's like, well, <laughs> we lost the TIE Fighters. Oh, well. Oh, well. And then don't let them get in. They're in. Oh, well. <laughs> Thrawn doesn't doing? get his big brain moment that we no. wanted to get. In fact, he loses four times in this episode. I'll, I'll lay them out later. But. Yeah, I was like, okay, this is supposed to be the big baddie. Like, yeah. He's like, Okay, well, we lost. All right, we'll and work. I really wanted him to warp in. I mean, Alex got it right. He can warp anywhere, and he does warp. But I really wanted him to warp in, show his prowess or something. Yes. I'm not concerned. I'm not concerned about Thrawn. I wanted to see <laughs> no why this concerned. guy is a menace. Yeah. But yeah. no. We want to be Team Thrawn, and right now we're like, meh. I, I, was, I was severely disappointed with that, and then I was... Super pissed off with the Balin stuff. Yes. I was like, Only one oh, Balin come scene. Come on. I know we said, ah, oh, we want a whole uh, Balin episode. And honestly, that would have been great. We knew we weren't getting it. But but this, this is, this is disappointing. Yeah, I, no, I was I reading, I was like, I know what those are. I know what those statues are. I know Joe doesn't know what no. those statues are. I don't know. Maybe Alex, maybe. I, I looked it up. But I, I know, know what it is now. But Yeah, but I know. I was like, I, I, I was reading 
uh, you know, things on, uh, you know, reactions. And it's like, why does Balin end up in Middle Earth? At the end? <laughs> She's thinking the exact. Look, they got to give the character a cliffhanger, so we left him literally why on a cliff. Is, why is Balin in Middle Earth? <laughs> it's an Abeloth <laughs> hint. It is definitely Mortis gods. We'll talk about yeah. it when we get into the episode breakdown. But here's the thing, Disney. It's Disney Star Wars, so it's more simple than that. I wouldn't go off and be so happy about Abeloth and, and the Mortis gods, you know, when it's Disney. And, and it, they're, they're going to simplify it. Yeah, so, so that But it's incredibly uh, unsatisfying yes. what happened with Balin. He was the most interesting part. Uh, rest in peace to yes. Ray, who did an amazing did. job. And I, he was by far my breaks my, my heart that you could tell they want him to be a big part of this going mm-hmm. forward, and he passed away. And so, uh, I absolutely will not forgive Disney if they refuse to recast his part and they just kill off this character. That I think, the I think people are like, well, you can't recast Baylor because he's played him so well. Like, he played him for one se- one season. This isn't like you know Leia or or Luke. Uh, Just get know, Don Cheadle. He'll be like, I'm here. Get over it. And then we move forward. <laughs> there you forward. go. He always replaces people well. So Don yeah. Cheadle, I guess. No. Uh, so, I, I, I was thinking. So, uh, yeah, I was upset about that. And then like, it has me worried for the next season, what they're going to do with all that they stuff. They have to recast and him. Do with, not kill him off in some stupid CGI. Don't CGI yeah. his face. Then kill him immediately because you can't afford the CGI. No. Recast. And then Be Shin. a man. Do the right thing. And Shin was a ho- that almost felt like they wrote themselves in a the corner. They're like, "Fuck, what do we do?" She, that's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. I was like, was "What? It? What are we at? Thirteen candles or what's the fucking movie where they just put a boombox? Oh, the oh guy yeah, puts the boombox. What are that you doing? Cusack, yeah. it's so stupid. Like, okay, is she gonna be their leader now? But yeah, like, yeah. why does she okay. go back with Palin? It, it just felt. Like they I thought she was gonna go back to the ship on. and go back and then I get it that this is a with... low point for her and then she's going to find her own way and then go quest for power and ambition, but it just at this moment in time, this snapshot, it feels stupid. Yeah, so disappointed with those. <laughs> okay, so but we gotta tell you we love we like the episode. I, or I like the episode. I don't think but it's but we're episode. about to get uh, Alex's opinion here, but w- I'm I'm telling you right now, if you can't handle criticism, if you can't handle critics breaking down story elements and plot points and stuff, just turn off the video, okay? We liked it. Ho- a horrible uh, uh, season finale. Clearly just a setup for things to come, which is incredibly frustrating. I don't yes. care how much lore you pack into an episode. If you don't have a satisfying story... Then you know you're you're gonna get so so we're gonna be ripping into the episode a little bit just to prepare you so now you're gonna hear it. Alex, <laughs> go ahead, ahead Alex. <laughs> I, do, I mean, you, you guys mentioned that there was like cool lightsaber fights, which is cool. I mean, I, I appreciate mm-hmm. that. But everything else, as far as the writing in this episode, you guys all said it was bad. Yes, Balin stuff was poor. Shin stuff was poor. Thrawn is an absolute the fucking ending. imbecile. The ending, uh, yeah. He sucks. Uh, Ahsoka. Uh, you know, I mean, we're going to spoilers. Ahsoka loses, and just there's not an ounce of worry. She's fine. She's like, you know, it's totally cool. Thrawn's, she knows Thrawn's a fucking imbecile. She's not even worried that Thrawn is back in, in the, the proper as galaxy. Long as this, this Ahsoka the White attitude is inappropriate and it's annoying. Yeah. Uh, that she's okay with everything. Like, there's no Sabine moment where she gets admonished for. You know, she was hiding that shit from Ezra. There's no scene where she has to no. confess and feel bad about her idiocy. We got a, we got a, a cool... In fact, she goes, you did well, Sabine. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a very good thing. And then so, you know, not only did she able to pull her lightsaber, uh, but she now can, uh, for a dude who's 40 fucking feet away from her, throw his ass up into a moving spaceship. And, like, the, the Thrawn stuff was... Ridiculous. The, stuff, the Thrawn stuff is the worst thing because you're trying to set up this big bad, and all you've shown is he's incompetent. The second that he flew TIE Fighters, you lost me. It's like, you had TIE Fighter pilots this whole fucking time, and when, you sent, fight, when yeah. you sent gunships, not yeah. only did you get the guys out of the gunships and you didn't use them, like, you know, because the, the, the guys on the ground, they didn't have weapons other than, like, sticks and stuff, and one guy was literally unarmed. And then he had TIE Fighters the whole time, and then they didn't use them. And then at the very end, he blows up the elevator to get to his spaceship, which could have been his first fucking move. The very first thing Jeez. Thrawn says when he gets on screen is, we finished packing, packing up. It's like, cool, get in your spaceship. They're on horse dogs. You know they're on horse dogs. You've seen they're on horse dogs. They don't fly. So we have this 
cartoon level bad guy because Dave Filoni can only write cartoons apparently, and it didn't fucking work. He so needed this, to talk to Timothy Zahn. I just I don't know what was like. I don't know what's solid about this other than fight choreography. But like, I am so tired of only being satisfied by fight choreography that. I'm not giving them any points for. Mm -hmm. So it's like, not only was this a really disappointing <clears throat> season finale, I don't think this episode stands up because you're trying to establish a bad guy. You failed. You're trying to set up Ahsoka the White, and I don't think that her character works. I don't like Sabine immediately becoming a Jedi. We didn't have... Yeah, this could I, have been, I hated that. I, even if you like this episode, even if you're a 10 out of 10, you have to admit mm. that was over the top, that went too yeah. far. We're playing... You're, you're not taking the Force seriously, and you're the one that should take the Force seriously. We have this show devolved into tell, not show, constantly. Yeah. And it got worse and worse and worse, and this was the yeah. worst one. Thrawn is a threat. Cool, show me. Nope, I'm not going to do it. Sabine is a fucking Jedi. Are we going to develop anything? Nope. She couldn't move a cup three days ago, but now she can pull a, she can pull her lightsaber to her, and she can throw his ass really condensed. far. And so you give us four more episodes maybe I'm still stretching it, but maybe. <laughs> well, are there 20 extra minutes an episode? This yeah. was a 41 minute long episode. Yes. It's 41 and a half it's minutes long. Short. And, and it's like an hour and a half yeah. at if, least. If you give me a full hour, you can develop the stuff with Ezra. You can develop the stuff uh, with Sabine. On each episode. Yeah. And, uh, on each episode. And then it makes sense. And then we can actually have a storyline that makes work. What actually was kind of interesting though, is I was like at peace with this episode mm. because I immediately realized that, Dave Filoni Star Wars mm -hmm. is not for me, and that is fine. Mm -hmm. I, it, he can write it for the mass audience. He can write it leaning towards kids. He can. It, it's not a serious thing. And I'll watch Andor. I'll watch Andor season two. But if he doesn't want to take this stuff seriously because it's better for streaming numbers, totally fine with me. So I'm not shitting on anyone who likes this show. If you want to like it, great. But I like to think about the things that I'm watching a little bit more, and none of it made sense. I didn't like this episode. Didn't like the finale. Alex is hard on it, guys, because, and I, I mean, everything he said was true. I would have said it, and back, I'm backing him up 100%, because this series gave us hope. The series had the potential to uh, pull it off. And instead, we went with, you know, a little, maybe there is a little too much kid ideas in here, or, or uh, dumbing it down. And and it's dragging it down. It's not a bad series in my and, and we're gonna rank the series here in a second because there's like what six live action series right now and I've I've I went and researched in fact even with the cartoons I researched all of our scores. So I'm gonna give you those scores and we're gonna rank it where it is in the end. I think you'll be surprised about where it does end up, mm -hmm. at least with me. Um but yeah, uh, all, all of it is true. And so now <coughs> we have to talk about why and break it down. Uh Many, many people will just tell you, oh, this isn't good enough or this was disappointing. Well, we back it up. So, uh, <clears throat> like we said before, visually great, music great, fantastic uh, saber combat sequences. We've got the uh, zombies. We, we got some payoffs. <laughs> we got well, some see that to me, uh, the, the, here's the sad part about that. What was revealed that we didn't already know? Nothing. Uh, we were getting payoffs here that we already saw coming. And 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 really, all the payoffs are done in the lamest or the lowest key way. So the undead troopers' capability, we already knew that, okay. But the Star Wars was like, this is it. I usually like that, guys. Uh, it's like, bro, we assumed that five episodes ago, and you used it as the big reveal that there's finally zombies in Star Wars, and it's like, yeah, I guess that's cool. Zombies in Marvel was kind of cool, but I'm I'm. I'm a, I'm the zombied out guy, so it's not all that much. It's, were they threatening? It's, it's, they couldn't. You want to play a zombie game, they, Joe? They were worse. They were, they were slower. In they the, they you already want to play a zombie game. The, hey, no. Joe, you want to play a zombie game? No, no. I don't want to <laughs> play a zombie game in my Star Wars. You better not start making Star Wars games where it's all about zombies. It's it like, could have been so cool. So like they, they couldn't hit shit when they were normal mm -hmm. stormtroopers, and these aren't Thrawn troopers. These are moron stormtroopers that can't hit shit. And then they turn into slow voodoo. Zombies. Yes. Can you imagine if they turned I, I, I think that's fine. If 28 uh, Days Later zombies would have been way better. Whatever. So Night Sister, are, and then we get the reveal of what Thrawn has been doing. I mean, it's not a 100% confirmation, but it's confirmed enough, in my opinion. <laughs> Either it, all those coffins, there's way more coffins that were, you know, implied. So he has an army. There is an army. And you bring in either you don't bring the nine si night sisters for no reason. It is an undead army, okay? Whether they are night sisters themselves in those caskets, or whether they're a combination of night sisters 
and uh, troopers, and hell, maybe even some inquisitors because we saw Mar maybe there's more Marocs around. They saved some inquisitors, whatever. There is an undead army. So we're doing the undead army thing, okay? We already knew that. Uh, and then we get what? We get a flaming sword to go against a Jedi. That's really cool. Um, this uh, the Night Mother uh, used the she had a duel against uh, Mace Windu in the Clone Wars, which is pretty cool. So this is a throwback to that. I like it. Um, and that was the we already gave credit for the cool combat sequence. Uh, and then Ezra makes a new Kanan Jarrus lightsaber. You know, there's apparently there was a. Uh, they could have done a thing where, because uh, uh, Thrawn, second in command, this lady with a stupid haircut, uh, presents him Kanan's lightsaber. But I guess that was in a hologram, and so she never got it to him on his ship. So he has to build his own. So And it turns out that Hu Yang has two components. One he gave to Kanan's, and now, so you, oh, cool, he's got the it's lightsaber. very funny, too, because everyone made so a cool. lot of fun of the Rebels' lightsabers because they were too thin. And they were too thin. They looked kind of silly. And that's what the joke was. Oh, the output is too skinny. It's not yeah, going to work. a little skinnier here. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, and then he stows away with Thrawn to get back to the New Republic and to get back with Hera. Um, what else? We also learn uh, why Sabine stopped training. So this thing they've been teasing this whole time, kind of disappointing uh, reveal where why did she stop? Uh, they didn't yell at each other and get super mad, or they didn't, I don't know, she, you know, accidentally she dropped a lightsaber and killed Ahsoka's dog. Nothing <laughs> like that, right? Or, or she dropped the lightsaber perfectly uh, vertical and it went to the center of the earth. <laughs> Okay, y'all guys haven't seen that, have nope. you? Okay. Uh, no, instead it was because Ahsoka was uh, sat, uh, worried that she might turn to the dark side because Mandalore was, you know, fucked up. And she would go get revenge. So, it's like, meh. Not a not a meaningful thing. Uh, Sabine yeah, is full-blown. This, is the, this is the thing that ruins it for me. <clears throat> Sabine is a full-blown A-class powerful Jedi suddenly because she wills it so. I don't like that. I'm sorry. I just don't like that. Uh, it takes Anakin years of training. It takes Luke years of training. I hate it when you're doing, you know, this kind of thing where, and <clears throat> and I get it. You could have done it correctly where she slowly levels up. But f number one, for God's sake, let characters be their own things. Let fu Why does Sabine have to be a Jedi? Why can't she just be a Mandalorian with some Jedi powers, right? But no, she's got to be she a full-blown Jedi, she and they have to like depict it in a way man. where I could barely fucking pull a lightsaber to me one foot away. Then literally 10 seconds later, I'm going to f force push somebody 30 feet. It was in the moment, Joe. I, fu I, I, I wanted Ezra to be like, no. stupid idiot. <laughs> you clapping seal, shut the fuck up. Okay, there are moments that are she earned. She did the thing. And Sabine, <laughs> she did the thing. She believed in herself. Shut the fuck up. She also We want her to believe in herself, but you have to set it up a yeah, little show bit Show me that she's training. It's like, okay, she's, I believe There's this. There's a way to do it. Or they did show training, but not enough. Not, or not something enough. that unlocked her, her latent potential where it's like she closed herself off. Like there's stuff that they've done before and they didn't do it. They also had a scene in one of the fight scenes where I was like, the zombies are shooting her and she's like, block, 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 block. It's like, holy shit, yes. what happened between today so and yesterday? that's another thing. That's why we call her class A Jedi now. It's like, uh... We were arguing. We were literally arguing. Me and you guys were like, no, she blocked the saber bolt. Or she blocked bolt. And I was like, no, she didn't. You're like, yes, yeah, she did. And I went and I looked. They film it in such a poor way that it could be either. But I do think she accidentally blocks it, right? She She's coming in anyway. And it's, it's literally three frames. And I was like, okay, all right. I will excuse an accidental block, right? And I was... Hoping and other episodes, she's so boop, boop, boop. You know, she gets hit. Cool, best car armor, right? But for her to this episode suddenly go, no, 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 no. I'll give you one or two, but <laughs> this whole episode, she's goddamn it. She was do you great. like her now? Do you like do her? You like her? <laughs> do, you, do you like her? Do you like she's a Jedi? And I, I saw somewhere else, uh, uh, they uh, there's a character element on a website for Star Wars and that actually says Jedi now on, under Sabine. Oh yeah, 100%. Fuck! Just because you get your fucking... Fuck! 
Why were they Anyways. also moving it? Like, so they have to get on board this spaceship, or the galaxy in theory dies. Because in theory, what I've been told is Thrawn's menacing. He's not even shown it, but Thrawn is menacing. Mm -hmm. I hear and that too. They got a spaceship, <laughs> and they are moving at the speed of hermit crabs. But why? The, and there's Thank so you. then you, you have <laughs> the final thing is the ones, otherwise yeah. known as the Mortis gods are revealed, linked to calling to Balin. <coughs> if you look very closely, there's a light in the distance yeah. on top of a mountain. I didn't see it the first time. I saw it the second time. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, the ones. Mortis God. He's going to be the father. Here's the thing. That shit is stupid. I, sorry. I don't, I don't think it's compelling. I don't like the Mortis Gods. Or, this is personal opinion. Maybe Filoni and other writers and directors can make it cool in the future. And I'm not taking that away. That is a potential. But I just think it's stupid. And, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I, and there, a lot of people are saying Abeloth. Well, who is Abeloth? Abeloth is, so you got the father, the daughter, and the uh, son. Hmm. Well, Abeloth is technically the mother but not really. So she was a servant of the Mortis gods, and then she kind of came to be a motherly figure, and then maybe uh, was with the father. The father was doing the but help. But then she was jealous that she... This is all expanded lore in nine books back in the 90s. And she was jealous that they are immortal. So she bathed in the same baths and drank from whatever to get their powers. But because she was mortal, it fucked her up and twisted her up. And so she, now she's like, you know, she's, she's like Baraka and the tentacles, Melina. And she got tentacles. I thought you were going to say like Zoidberg. Mm, a little <laughs> Zul Zoidberg. There's a little Zoidberg, Zoidberg in there. And uh, Luke has to fight her multiple times, and then they fight her, and then she gets away, and they fight her, and she gets away, and they fight her, and she gets away. And she has the capability of, like, calling to people, and she is as powerful as to break the force or whatever. It's just stupid, and uh, I, I didn't think it's all that compelling. And the, at one point, Luke has to team up with Sith in order to stop her. They're like, okay, we're going to stop fighting each other, and we're going to fight her. So it could be cool. And they could make that better and cooler, and, and instead of nine fucking books where she gets away 17 times, make it a little bit. And at one point, she even tries to become, like, a leader. She's a shapeshifter, so she could become, like, the emperor. It's like, fuck. So that's what a lot of people think they're headed. But this is Disney Star Wars. Okay? We saw an owl, though, and so, you know what the owl means. The owl is, Who? yes, linked to the Mortis God. Uh, Morai is the owl. And uh, if you don't know Joe, nope. so you don't. Uh, you saw the statues. Yes. The, the daughter statue is broken. And I believe because the daughter is still around, it's Sabine. Sabine is the daughter. So the daughter gave her essence and put it into Sabine so Sabine wouldn't die. Sabine has died so many times, on, and, but then had plot armor. So one of the plot armor. And so that's why this little owl was following her around towards the end of his Clone Wars and Rebels. And now there's the owl. And it mm -hmm. seems as if the owl's like, hey, pay attention to me. Hey, follow me. Go this way. And Sabine's like, hmm, well, I've never seen the owl before. Or whatever. She's doing something stupid. She doesn't realize it yet. But the owl is going to take her, and they're going to go on this Mortis God story. It's just gods. Gods in Star Wars. I d no, I don't want it, and I don't think I want it, but maybe you can make it good. Anyways, <clears throat> so that's that's basically... I guess at the end, too, she also senses Anakin or yeah. something? Oh, right. Yeah, so yeah. then the big review at the end is that you, the Force Ghost, Anakin mm -hmm. Force Ghost... And he can appear in any galaxy. Remember, we're not in the Star Wars galaxy. We're in a different galaxy. So it just shows you that the Force is everywhere. And at first I was like, can she see him? Or like, why don't she say anything or talk to him? But no, it's just like, you know, what's up? What's up? We'll talk later kind of thing. So she, does, I think she does see him. Sabine yeah. senses something yeah. there, but she can't see because no. she's not A-class when she's A-class. And she no, doesn't yeah. have the Next episode connection. she will be. She'll be able to see Ahsoka when Ahsoka <laughs> dies. Season, yeah. Right, next season. But uh, All right, let's just go to uh, final verdicts for try, – try your best to condense it in an episode rating. And then – For me, when I said – yeah, I'll start it off. Yeah. Uh, like I said, it was solid. For series. me, it's like a five. Yeah. As solid as that. I, I cannot give it any more credit. Five is, is – is, uh, It's solid. Is solid five. for you, so yeah. it's average? Okay. Yes, because, again – I didn't see any cool yeah. stuff with uh, Thrawn. I wanted to see, like, 
him going to some there other galaxy. There was cool stuff with Thrawn. What did he do? He fired turbo lasers that have no targeting computers. <laughs> what? Keep firing, assholes. <laughs> Keep firing, assholes. Keep firing. Who's the charge of this? <laughs> Oh, that's me. My brother, my cousin, uh, took the day off. I'm surrounded by assholes. <laughs> I'm surrounded by assholes. Why? Why would they leave the door open? They know and they how left. Important. They left the door open too. Why would you leave the door open? Shut up, Joe. It's like they're coming in. Shut up. Stop <laughs> using logic. Close the door. Fucking destroy everything. Mm-hmm. You can just blow up the elevator to get up to the ship, which they eventually did. I did, oh, I we're gonna get downvoted so much Good. by, by I, oh, like Star I'm Wars like lovers, was, and then we're gonna get upvoted so much by Star Wars haters. Like it was an Look, this average is episode. Being it was critical. It was a five. You it was average. Uh, I did like some of the cool stuff, but again, it let me down with the whole Balin the <clears> Shin <throat> thing. I wanted to see more of that stuff. They yeah. just dropped the ball, and again, I I don't know who's gonna recast them, but mm-hmm. I it's obviously not gonna. It's gonna be a step down. They better from recast. Balin. Yes. Yeah, but it's going to be a step down. Shiv, Live Sh- Shriver. What's that guy's Leave name? Shriver. Leave Shriver. Yeah. Um, the whole Sabine thing was like, I rolled my eyes <sighs> so I never want to roll my eyes. I was like, uh, okay, well, I was hoping this episode could convince Alex a little. Or, or get get <laughs> Sabine to, Alex to I like Sabine. I was trying. Now, I, I was, was trying, trying too. Now, she, they're even fucking it up for me. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah, it's like they're trying too hard. Wait a minute. They're trying Stop way trying too hard so hard. to make you like her. And uh, it's just off-putting for me. Next, she's going to pet a dog. Yeah. Well, and this, this, like, uh, this fucking episode was 41 minutes. It's way too fucking short. Yes. It was too condensed. Like, not a lot of stuff got resolved. Well, there's some other stuff that I wanted to. I have to wait till fucking season two. And the whole Ezra thing, I, I guess he just, yeah. it's like. I don't, know. I don't know how he got to a ship and Thrawn didn't know and I, just, I guess Thrawn messed up again. He's like, matter. oh, he's in our his, ship. I guess his star oh, well, what are we going to do? It does, has he no targeting he computers. Is. Okay, you can excuse it. I can already see there's going to be a comic about, okay, I am back in this galaxy. Send some envoys to all of the Imperial Remnant and Ezra jumps on one of those, punches the guy out and takes the thing. Whatever. But it has to be in a comic. Why? <laughs> He can because it's only eight episodes instead of ten or twelve. This needs to be ten or twelve, and we could have rated this whole series higher. Yes. We could have had less problems. Stop fucking lying to yourself. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, so well, so five out of ten for the episode, Joe. Oof. Yeah, because again, I was super disappointed. Like, okay. I, I was like, I want to see this yeah. stuff, and it was, I can't stop. I was like, eh. It was it was fine. It was enjoyable. Wa- well, okay. it was a so good watch. So l- let's but. just go episode, and we'll come back around yeah. for the series. So episode. Yeah. yeah, I didn't like this episode. This was a timer episode with no sense of urgency. This is a timer episode. Like you have to get on the ship before yes. they take off. Period. They were done. They were moving at hermit crab pace, and then they got on wolf. Like, and then he didn't even try to stop them. Like I know he said he did, but he didn't really. Um, and he, we're trying to show off the big, powerful bad guy. He showed nothing but ineptitude and the fact that he was powerless. So yeah. there's a scene where a flaming sword lady sacrifices her life. She's going to be stranded on this planet for fucking ever. And they're like, don't let anyone pass. And the first thing she lets do is Ezra and Sabine <laughs> walks behind her. They walk behind her. And then she squares up with Ahsoka. It's like, yeah, but what about them? They're Jedi too. They're both A class, you know, she super didn't know Jedi. Sabine and was gonna do that bullshit. <laughs> they they walk behind her, and then Thrawn blows up the the space elevator to get to the spaceship, and is like, "Dude, bro, lead with that. Show us that you're a fucking badass." So yeah. I don't like Thrawn. I don't like the bad guy. I can't be Team Thrawn. He's an imbecile. I can't be Team New Republic because he's an imbecile. I don't like Sabine. I actively do not like Sabine. Ahsoka's just fucking aloof. She just doomed I, I the I guess ga- the only one I like is Ezra because he's got no He's cast scenes. so well. I actually There's like no Ezra. Se- yeah. So I am There's an no Ezra scenes. hater because I've only seen season <laughs> one. Now of, you're uh, Ezra and I was like, I like that actor. I think I think Ezra could be a character yeah. that I potentially like. And Balin. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah but, and then this this is another episode I realized like, how much propping up... Uh, was happening with Balin and Shin. And so much, I think, of my enjoyment for this episode is what it, Ahsoka, the series, uh, could have been mm, instead yeah. of judging it for what it is. Mm. And this was the episode I'm like, I'm only going to judge it for what it is right now here in the moment. And I think it's below average Star Wars. It is not 
candy Ugh. apple wait, moped. Wait, below average? I, I think this Fuck. episode is below. Look, you fucked up the main villain. The main villain looks yeah. inept as shit. Yeah. The main characters, I do not like. Your best characters are off screen or holding up a boombox playing Peter Gabriel. <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck about anything that's <laughs> happening here. And again, we're supposed to be like, hey, we got to get on the ship, and they're. They're mm-hmm. crawling. They're literally using mm-hmm. crab crawlers to get to a spaceship. It's they like go fast. I mean, there's there's fast scenes. They have a spaceship things. hovering above. They could have got there no, much quicker. No, that spaceship got sh- taken out because they forgot to raise shields. Okay. Just, yeah, they got shot once so, and then it fell and out they have of the sky. The hounds to make it through the door. Just shut up. Yeah, just the, shut up. We're hounds. about to rip apart the series a lot. Yeah, and so the problem I have is I don't think this episode did a good job. On its own, setting up a bad guy, setting up the good guys. I, I actively, I li- I dislike characters more than when we started, and so I can't give this an even average score. So I'm gonna give it a four. I think this is below average. Damn. All right. Well, there it is. Uh, I want to go with a six out of ten. I was going back and forth between a six and a seven. Um, if you look oh, at this, six and a five. Six and a five. Yeah. If you look at this as a mid season right episode. I, I think it can get to a seven. Uh, it is a solid episode. It's setting some stuff up. Yes, the Thrawn hasn't shown his badassery. He will in a bit. Y- yes, we have no idea what Balin is doing. It, it, the story gets cut off. Bro, what the fuck? This is not a full season. You can't this is on half this a season. Like a you, you, that's what I'm saying. It's like uh, pissing me off. So so uh, uh, while I want to give a seven, and I'm sure some people out there are giving it high, high marks, Tens. I think it, it, as it stands on its own, or maybe as it stands as the finale is what I'm talking about. So I think it can earn on its own a seven because if knowing that we have three more episodes, I think all of our opinions would change on it. it not, 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 not significantly because the fucking A-class Sabine Jedi thing, it's just unforgivable. All right, so I'm going to go 6 out of 10 on that. Okay. All right, so now we're going to show you. Uh, so in my opinion, I've written down all the scores that we get, or I gave. Sorry, guys. Uh, and the series is, it's uneven. Mm-hmm. Okay, we have some high highs and we got some fumbles. Okay, uh, so let's go. Uh, episode 1 and 2, I gave a 9 out of 10 to, to both. This was me super hyped. Uh, and at, now that we have the full context, I'm able to come in episode by episode. That's coming down. You guys were right on that. Y'all gave it sevens on both. Uh, I'm going to bring episode one. I want to bring them from nine to eight. But episode one goes down a further one to seven. Why? If you rewatch it, there is so much There is so much like staring and and like wasted time, and I'm like I'm watching, you know, uh, other people watching. I'm like, okay, come on, come on, get 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 going. It's the, it's, and they're they're like, mm, you know, and they get on their phone. It's, it's no, it's not, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it, so it, it it's it starts slow is what I'm trying to say. So it's a seven out of ten for episode one, eight out of ten for episode. That's what two. I was thinking too in the first because like. It- for me, I have not seen all the Clone Wars and the Rebels. So me coming into that, I was like, well, it's kind of like a seven because it's kind of introducing me. But right. you already got the nostalgia. It's like, oh, right. this is this nostalgia. character. I'm like, all right, who, what's going on? The, re- yeah. the reason why I got a nine is because this is motherfucking Rebels uh, season five. Uh, four, yeah, five. So like that was for me because I liked Rebels yeah. so much. It was exactly. I was like, this is it. And I confirmed that this is it. All right. So episode three goes down because it is the shortest of all the episodes. And that was the, the thing that y'all didn't like where she flies around and, uh, you know, uh, on a on a fighter in space and cuts another fighter up. I thought it was a fucking baseball so, bat. She got in front of the Death Star <laughs> and just. Baseball batted the, the beam right back uh, at him. It's a seven, keeping it at a seven. Episode four, here's where we hit highs of highs. We get the live action, Clone Wars. Yes. We get the confirmation. Like, there's so much potential in this episode. We get the Balin and we get the Shin. We get a lot of stuff. Ten out of ten. Episode five, nine out of ten. Episode six, surprising sleeper. You would think that, oh, episode four is going to be the best. No, I actually think episode six is also a ten out of ten. Uh, and then the last two episodes, the penultimate episode, episode seven, it kind of starts to fumble it. I gave it a six. And uh, now this yeah. episode, I'm going to uh, I'm going to give it a six. I think it's slightly above average. I, or I just gave it a six. So I think it's slightly above average. So 
if you take all those numbers, the modified numbers, it's something like a 7.5 median, right? And I think we don't give half here, okay? Be a man. Do the right thing. <laughs> do not be wishy-washy. So instead, uh, we're going to round down instead of rounding up. Uh, we're going to go to a 7 out of 10 overall for Season 1. I could see others, depending on how much of a Star Wars fan you are and a Rebels fan you are, I can see you rounding up to an 8. Uh, but no higher! <laughs> no higher! It is not better than Mando Season 1. It's no. not better than Mando Season 2. It's not better than and Andor Season 1. Whether you, you're like, Andor, there's not enough sabers and explosions and stuff. Well, fine. Okay, if that's your thing, that's fine. But storytelling is my thing. Characters is my thing. Shit making sense is my thing. Uh, and, and not being written for fucking, you know, children or using shorthand because you only have eight episodes. That, that stuff. So, um, that's where it, it's a 7 out of 10. What would you guys give it? <clears throat> Overall, uh, I think I'm going yeah. to. Uh, we don't do half. No, so, half. Uh, no I'm going to say that this. Just tell us what you would have and round up or round down. I think I, I think this is that. a. I think this is a five. I think there's some really great highs in here. I think that there's some excellent episodes and some ex excellent sequences. But ultimately, if you look at the the, arc, the character arcs that existed, I didn't really feel that we got in. So if we like Sabine, what arc? She was angsty teenager who was not a teenager. Again, they're like, this is Rebel season six. It's like, no, it's no, it's not. This takes place eight years later. Um, she's not supposed to be a dumbass teenager, and she acts like one the entire time. And then she just gets quiet the second she meets Ezra and doesn't tell anyone. There's no arc there. There's no development. They didn't, sh they didn't show anything. They just told us that she's powerful now. Ahsoka went from kind of, she was kind of the same. You know, I'm not a big, oh, you need to smile more thing, but, you know, she didn't really have much of an arc. Um, Thrawn sucked. Balin, Balin was super cool, but we didn't go anywhere with Balin. Um, so it's like I'm trying to look at characters and storylines that I was really appreciating and things that they set up. And I think all of the enjoyment that I have of this is looking back on Easter eggs from better media or hoping that things are going to get better in future seasons or future movies. And that's a problem. It's like I'm tired of the Disney formula where they're like, hey, this is the member berry section. Get really excited about the stuff that you used to love. I'm going to show you a couple of the characters. And I'm going to get you excited about things that could be, but we're going to fuck it up in the next couple seasons. And so I think that this is better than Obi-Wan, clearly. It's better than Boba Bo Fett. Boca Boba. I think it's better than uh, Mando season three. Yeah. But... <clears throat> It does fall short of the, the first two of Mando. It fall, definitely falls short of Andor, and so that puts it right smack in the middle, mm -hmm. and I think that's where it should be at five. Slightly, okay. What I liked a little bit more. I'm going to go with the six. I, I loved all the side characters. Yeah. Uh, the Anakin, the, yeah. the Clone Wars. How dare you call him a yeah. side character? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's what they're treating him I know, him I know, I know. <laughs> Uh, Balin, Shin, mm -hmm. those are all my fucking favorite. I wanted to see more of them, but again, like Thrawn looks cool, like his acting's amazing, but his judgment is fucking terrible. It is it the is fucking Rebels terrible. version of Thrawn instead of Alex's book version of Thrawn. Yeah, but whenever whenever we get to that planet, it, I fucking love the atmosphere. Like again, it yeah. looked like fucking Doom or yeah, something. Yeah, like, like the idea of trying something new. Yeah, it's like I want to continue that going forward. But again, I don't like Sabine. Ahsoka's fine. I wish we liked Sabine more. I, I tried. I tried. I fake like her more than y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Deep so, down, you're like, God damn down, it. I'm like, God damn it. It's a six for me. Okay. Uh, I am going, like I said already, seven out of ten for me. Uh, and, and, and it gets a curve. It gets graded on a curve because it is starting something new. We're getting hints at something bigger threat with Balin. I like the those dark jet the fallen Jedi and yes, we didn't get the payoff and that's unforgivable, but uh because Star Wars was showing some weakness, but actually when I look at all this, Star Wars, yeah, there's a few things that stumbled, but it's not that weak. Like it's just real. I mean, we ha still have the stink of the Disney sequels, sure. And you, when you fuck up the mainline story like that, that that's concerning. But I don't think they fucked up the mainline story. Like if you compare what they're setting up here and all the characters here to the Disney sequels, I prefer this. You know, and if I were to put somebody in charge, if, if it's Dave or if it's Kathleen and her rotating directors that have no fucking 
you know, overall plan, I'm going to go with Dave. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, that's basically it. And I want to go ahead. There are, I have 18 bullet points here uh, of, uh, you know, potential Star Wars Disney Plus uh, things to rate. Uh, 17. Uh, so here, here I'm just going to give them to you so you know where Ahsoka ranks, right? Mando Season 1, I gave 9 out of 10 to. Mando Season 2, I gave 10 out of 10 to. Mando Season 3, 6 out of 10. Book of Boba, 5 out of 10. Obi-Wan, 5 out of 10. Now, how, how can Obi-Wan be that low? It's because you're fucking with Obi-Wan. Like, I didn't expect uh, much from Book of Boba. Could Obi-Wan be that high? Yeah, you two, fuck, when yeah, you those fucked two, Obi-Wan. Ahsoka's way better than those two. Yeah, and, and oh, in fair. fact, Obi-Wan might drop to four, but we're, we're still at five. When I think about Reva, then I go down to a four. Kid's in a trench coat. He tried to sneak <laughs> out a kid in a trench coat. <laughs> Shut up, Alex, or it'll be a three out of ten by the time we, we start. No, Andor knows. season one, ten out of ten. And that's purely characters and storytelling. That that thing can work outside of Star Wars. That thing can work inside of Star Wars. It elevates Star Wars. Same with Visions Season 1. 10 out of 10. Trying new things with Star Wars. Some of them work better than others, but the idea and concept, really great. Neither of us have yet... I have an N.A. here, because neither of us have finished Visions Season 2, nope. which is a travesty, because we gave it 10 out of 10 to Season 1, so we eventually got to look at Season 2. Tales of a Jedi, uh, 8 out of 10. Also very solid. Additional stories out of there. Uh, Bad Batch Season 1, 6 out of 10. We didn't really like the babysitting, uh, but there's some solid ones here and there. Bad Batch Season 2, because we didn't like the babysitting, none of us went through the 16 episodes. Because Bad Batch is 16 episodes. Dad Batch. Um, yeah. Dad Batch. So N.A. so far there. I hear it's better. I hear it has a lot of filler at the beginning, but it starts to pick up again. So I'd estimate it would probably come around another 5 or 6, maybe 7. But that's about all. And Vision Season 2, I don't know. They could fucking, they could, I, I don't even want to venture a guess. And then finally, Ahsoka Season 1. Seven out of ten. I think that's good. I think um, there's some good stuff here. There's some encouragement. Filoni can look at the reactions to it, can see, you know, from a different perspective, and hopefully take feedback. Because that's the difference between somebody who's just, like, really, really good. I, I, he needs to be able to take feedback instead of Disney Star Wars, where they just didn't take feedback. In fact, they overreacted and went a different way. And just, ha-ha, fuck you, you know, kind of thing. We're doing our own thing. So I'm hoping that it can get better from here. The other, how did I get to 17? Skeleton Crew is coming. The Acolyte is coming. Did y'all see the uh, leaked trailer for Acolyte? Uh, Andor Season 2. Uh, I assume Mando Season 4, and I assume now Ahsoka Season yeah. 2, and then you get the Dave Filoni film. That's how I think it's going to shake down to 18 uh, different things, and where does Ahsoka rank amongst that? So uh, that's 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 that. Let's go into the episode breakdown now so we can you know exactly why it disappointed us. So... Uh, here we go. Thrawn completes the transfer. Uh, Leave. Sort of. Th Thrawn, in his infinite uh, idiocy, <laughs> has the hyperspace ring in space. I don't know why it's in space, but it's in space. And he, he left. And the very yeah. first thing out of his stupid fucking mouth is, hey, the transfer's complete. Um, bring the ring down. It's like, why wasn't the ring down in the first place, the great tactician? Shithead. God, I hate this motherfucker. Fuck. I needed to add that to my list of uh, Thrawn uh, brain farts. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Listen, the reason why we're right now in the sewer, in the muck, and we're throwing muck ar around is, is if you had done big brain moments, then we'd forgive some stuff. We'd forgive this, right? But now we have to make a point to you guys that – Thrawn is hasn't yet been shown how we would like for him to be shown. No, I'm more scared of the sisters. Yeah, yeah. sisters terrifying. So he only sends two Tie Fighters. Uh -huh. so we'll talk about how stupid that is when he's got at least eight there. Maybe there's only the, two and, pilots and, left. And the, the Vic, that class of uh, Star Destroyer has like forty in lore, but yeah. whatever. Uh, then there's uh, the, the we have a scene of the gift. So the 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 mothers give a gift to Morgan. And it's uh, 
they 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 smash her eyes and give you know they give her some battle uh scars and and green yeah. glowing and then they make a sword show up out of nowhere and uh she's given the blade of Talzin and it's you and and you know if you know the lore behind it I I could see people being like this is kind of stupid but I think it's cool because, you know, it's the blade that was used to fight Mace Windu. I'm a Clone Wars fan, but I'm curious, somebody who's never seen this, what they think. What did you think of that? Oh, yeah, that's cool. Okay. I didn't so, think too much of it. And it's like, right. Oh, they gave I didn't think too much out. of it either. And yeah, I, yeah. It's like it, f- it almost feels like force because it's like uh, we have to have, you know, Soka fight somebody. Yeah, so that's exactly what this. I thought. I was like, okay, it, they it gave her a sword. It seems like it's out of nowhere, right? Just to give her a weapon so mm-hmm. that she has a weapon that yeah. can stand up. Well, to she lost her best guard uh, staff. Right. So they reward her with that. And. Um, at this point, it just makes no sense that they wouldn't destroy their enemies. The Night Sisters are evil. The Night Sisters are ruthless. The 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 Thrawn is t- a tactical genius. It makes n- absolutely no Quotations. sense that at no point that he's like, <laughs> I'm not gonna fuck with Ezra. I'm not gonna fuck with these crab people. They're too powerful. There's even raiders that we can ally with. I'm not gonna do it. I just w- th- it just doesn't make sense. You give um, the Raiders one TIE fighter, one, and they will be your slaves forever. And right. you could just be like, go kill the turtle people, and they'd be okay. And and knowing that these are Jedis, knowing that they have the capability to fuck with you, you take them out. You don't ignore them. And he, he ignores them for a long time until we get to these episodes in which he fucks up in trying to if deal with it. If they make it, it would be probably This episode made Who previous you? episodes worse, by the way. The second he turned on those TIE Fighters, I thought less of the last episode. And I thought pretty lowly of his, his strategy in the last episode. It's like, you send the gunships and the TIE Fighters. What were the TIE yeah. Fighter pilots doing? They're not loading up corpses. Right. So we assume that they're, that they're decrepit, they're, they're non-functional, that they yeah. you know, lost pilots. But if he's willing to send two transports with two divisions of stormtroopers, then he should have sent those TIE Fighters because he uses the TIE Fighters later. It doesn't make any sense. And, and it's poor writing. And you got to write it in a different way so you don't make the tactical genius seem like an idiot. Huang helps uh, Ezra build a new saber like his master's. Fine, cool. I like it. Some people are, uh, there's some weirdos complaining. Yeah, why didn't Ezra use his lightsaber? Why do you got to give it to the girl? Why is this girl boss moments and the guy doesn't get to do the cool thing? I'm like, oh, I hate reading this shit. It's like some people, people just hate women. Just misguided. Yes. At, like they they're trying to make somewhat good points, but they just they use all the language. Bro, I hate Sabine like, too. She fuck. sucks, but it's, right. it has nothing to do with the, her big girl woman. boss and yeah. all that stuff. Anyways, take it too far. So you take it too far. And, and, so in, and so these people should be happy because what does Ezra do? The first opportunity he gets, oh shit, you got the lightsaber fucking builder in your ship. This guy can craft me a lightsaber. He's got all the lightsaber parts. He immediately puts together a lightsaber. I'm like, okay, cool. Um, I, I do pe- think it would have been kind of cool to have a, a, a Jedi user who doesn't give a fuck about a lightsaber and then just but levels up and does cool stuff like that. But fine, lightsaber back. Yeah, you can block. I, I saw like uh, the internet was going crazy with this scene because I, I guess it was where he's building a lightsaber, lightsaber and really? everything. Yeah. yeah. They're like, oh, this was a badass scene. Yeah, there are people out there like, that are obsessed yeah, with lightsabers. I was just like, if you don't yeah, use that's them. cool, I guess, because of the backstory or whatever. Like, oh, we, I could go I to Disneyland. I'll build my own. I'll build it just like his. <laughs> it's cool. All right. But you understand the point of being the Jedi is not necessarily this 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 weapon here. It doesn't make you a Jedi. Nope. But she said, whatever. It's the force. Anyways, what happened between these two? Uh, we get the reveal there that you know to train. They were training her, and then she was concerned that she would fall to the dark side and use the training for the wrong reasons to get revenge. Mm-hmm. And okay, uh, Ahsoka is going to um, be there for Sabine scene. So we get that scene where we go outside and they're talking to each other, and they kind of, I'm there for you. You need these kinds of connective tissue scenes, and if, if this series had more of those, we might have been able to soften Sabine and give context to, to Sabine. But essentially, what happens here instead is she for, she literally forgives. I get that. I get that. That's the point. But she forgives all of her stupid bullshit that put the entire galaxy at risk and just tosses it out like it's no big deal. Never has the conversation with Ezra. Not Doesn't have any consequences for any of this. And we just move on. Ahsoka read the script and realized Thrawn's not a threat. 
Yeah. <laughs> so then, so that guy's an idiot. Even if he does get back, people, he's just Papa Smurf. While they're bonding, apprentice and master, we get the two Tie Fighters that show up. As if, why was he even share? If he's not going to immediately. So that, 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 that could have been an excuse for why he doesn't use more resources. Because when he jumps in, he's going to fuck somebody up and he needs all the resources to fuck them up. Because mm-hmm. he's already low on resources. No. He jumps into a dead planet that everybody's dead on already and he's going to repopulate it with the Night Sister on Dead Army or whatever. So he doesn't need, he doesn't need the other four TIE fighters in there. Um, you know, and we're gonna point this out in Obi Wan when there's a fucking Inquisitor base and they never use the, the fucking Tie Fighters. We're gonna point it out in Goddamn Ahsoka. So the two fighters show up, they fire once or twice, and blow up a Jedi fucking ship. I guess the shields were down. I don't know why you wouldn't just have the shields on at all times. Press tech. But it was a surprise <laughs> attack, and they were hanging out on top of it like it's an RV. You know, they do the whole cowboy thing. I like that. With the, Where they're moseying, they're moseying even along, though yeah. they've got two hours before Thrawn leaves the planet and they're stranded. Hey, man, those roly-poly things are slow. So they got they real have fast go, moving dog They have things. to go at their speed because... Be- what? Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm waiting. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm playing devil's I know, advocate. I, I don't know. Because they're friends. Or because they want to protect them, their lives, but even though they were doing just fine on this planet without you. Again, you're not protecting their lives. You're causing more danger. They're for after them. you, right. not, not them. them. If you could go away from them, away. they would not go mess with the roly polies. <laughs> <laughs> You are causing more damage. <laughs> just joke all is really cool. Okay, moving on. So then the fighters do, do several attack runs, and Sabine has the idea. I'm going to. OJ do, move. Uh, the, the thing falls down, so they hold up the thing. And so then she, yeah, they she uses an OJ move. And every fucking miniatures game that's in space, OJ, can I ram? Or is there yeah. a ship? Can I ram? It's a hold up and, move. Right? Did it Sometimes work? Orc, yes. <laughs> so Joe needs to play the orcs because the orcs can ram. So she rams both TIE fighters. Genius. <laughs> <laughs> because they fly in such a goddamn TIE formation. This is the same kind of logic that you use when the tie, when the fighter came in close, the snub fighter. Um, and she cut it in half or whatever. So anyway, she so destroys the two ships. And I thought destroyed the yeah. actual thing. But <laughs> you don't even have that consequence. Where is the fucking consequences? None. All right, so I thought that that ship would have gone down and would have exploded, and maybe she had ejected, and maybe Hu Yang would be dead or something. Oh, but God. no, everybody's alive. The ship I, doesn't I would explode. hate her even more. Oh, yeah, yeah. If she, kill, if she killed Hu Yang? That'd be oh, the end. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that'd be the end. Get out. It's worse than Reva. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which is why. Uh, so they do, do that. And then blah, blah, blah. We have a scene where it's like, Thrawn is like, which is why we will prepare for a ground assault. Which is, he literally says that. At least I have it written down that he, way. He I did. don't know why. He did. And I go, why? <laughs> why not an air attack? You just, it, your air attack was just successful. The motherfucker told you we deployed two Y wing or two Tie fighters. They engaged the enemy. They destroyed. Uh, they, they brought down the ship. But they, we, we lost, lost contact me. with them. He immediately assumes, oh, we destroyed their, their ship and got them disabled. Send more Tie fighters. <laughs> No, well, this is why we will do a ground assault. Or you just take off or if they're leave. on. The, if they, you blew up their ship and they're on their legs, they can only get to you with their chevrolet legs. They don't have vehicles anymore. They could just yeah. take off because you're in a fucking spaceship. Yeah, I do like a small line here. It's still it's stupid what happened, but I do like the small line that it seems like Thrawn does care for his soldiers. Yeah, I like because that. that is retained from the books, and I think. Because they were talking with Timothy Zahn on notes, clearly, if Timothy Zahn was uh, involved more, Thrawn would be, in my opinion, smarter. <laughs> but there's certain things that Timothy's like, he has to have this trait, yeah. and it feels like this is something that, all right, we got to throw in this line about do, do the troops know 
he, what, you know, their sacrifice. Yeah, he did it twice in this episode, and I really yeah. liked both times. It's actually the bright spot where he's like, right. those those two did very well. Make they sure that their, their captain gets it. And then when he's he's sending dudes to, to be sacrificed, they are aware, that right? he's like, they know exactly what's going to happen, right? Yeah. They're going to turn into fucked up ghost zombies. No. Yeah, they're going to be even they're worse like, than normal stone, stormtroopers. But for, for the Empire, yeah. they say. Okay, so that was good, you know, but that's probably the one note that Timothy had for, for Dave. Anyways, so then we woke up, uh, woke up the witches, rebuilt starship what i don't know what i maybe that was auto no he said that, that that's the reason that i i woke up the the witches. oh yeah he woke mm-hmm. up the witches and he they rebuilt oh so ezra says this yes. ezra says uh he woke up the witches and he rebuilt the starship so that just makes me think god damn it we need four more episodes we need to know what happened when because the fucking windows were knocked out there's tentacles through the Star Destroyer's windows wrapped around Thrawn. We go to hyperspace. So you're telling me that then they, they – the, I guess I have to do the cannon in my head. And I hate this. I hate it. So Thrawn eventually gets let go by the tentacles. Somehow Thrawn survived. Somehow Thrawn survived. And then Ezra maybe went up into the shaft because there were troopers behind the door. I don't know this, by the way, because I haven't seen it. Right, so, as your average them. other viewer. Right. So, it just... <laughs> um, blah, blah, blah. And then, he just so happened to find the Dathomir witches, the, the, the precursors to the Dathomir witches. Wow. What, what luck. <laughs> what luck to just... And he's close enough to where... And this planet has all the resources he needs to rebuild. Air. I thought multiple Star Destroyers... <laughs> got jumped out so but there could be an explanation for that that they decommissioned all the other ones and so, that's yeah. why it's a hodgepodge of, of stuff but okay but anyways uh thrawn loses uh, as his star destroyer is unable to hit two targets on horseback coward horses so remember these deploys, are cowards no they're they're not i was waiting for her anymore. to like block Oh, he was. Ezra no, was. You do not block a turbo laser. Ezra was doing <laughs> stuff to keep keep. You didn't watch Ezra do this the entire time. No, no. no, no. Pull it up. <laughs> He's fucking on his stupid dog horse, going like, "I'm force blocking turbo lasers." No, no. I'm. I'm uh, he's what was 40. he doing then? Just Shut right. the, he's, he's I'll dead. tell you what he's, he's doing. He's riding right well. He's doing. He's blocking. You know, there's shrapnel and rocks and stuff that get kicked up. He's smart. And he's. It's like a raincoat. He's doing a little raincoat. He's not actually trying to. He has his stop hands in the air like he laser. just don't care. Okay. I would Anyways, Thrawn, um, shut the. I'm okay. right. You're wrong. Okay. Okay, okay. Thrawn doesn't get his big brain moment. <laughs> he loses four times. Once, when he only sends two TIE fighters, they get blown up. He fucked up because he could have killed them. Well, and the gunship. Turbo lasers awesome. can't hit ship because they have no targeting systems. We have to make up the lore that all of the targeting systems are broken. You know there's a door they're walking into. There's only one door. All you had to do was this. shoot at the fucking entrance. It's a stationary I didn't even think target. About that it was almost an afterthought that he's like, yeah, blow up their fucking uh, headquarters. And even the night sisters are like, it's him. Yeah. Anyway, so his night troopers fail. Uh, you know, he had two brigades of, of troopers who knew that they were going to become the undead to try to stop him. And he has to sacrifice one of his most powerful chess pieces. He has to sacrifice Morgan to, you know, stop him because they're coming because he could have already dealt with this problem. Again, if he already dealt with the problem he multiple left, times. He left the door open. And he, he left, left the, the door, door open, open like Alex said. He could have just blown up the fucking thing. So he, lo- he loses five times in this episode. He loses five times. If he just lost once, I'd be like, okay, we can forget it. I'll just it. send him out, close the door. He's like, alright. And, and they even have a scene where he's getting mad that his turbo lasers are not hitting the fucking targets. He could have at least said... <laughs> somebody, uh, Anok, is... could have come up to him, sir, uh, you know, our, our lasers are barely functioning. I don't care. Fire. <laughs> I don't know. But he's like, God damn it, my well-laid plan was uh, thwarted by Ahsoka. But not really. Cause... I'll get you next time, Scooby-Doo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's meddling kids. Yeah. So, okay. So, but we jumped ahead there to show you how many times he lost. Because we had to get to this other shit. Uh, take care, uh, Thrawn. Okay. They take care of an entire complement of uh, death troopers uh, mm-hmm. or night troopers in a badass way. I like this. Uh, then they're raised uh, from the dead by the sisters. We're getting that payoff we wanted. We wanted this. We got it. And uh, yeah, fine. Cool. 
Without being able to show blood or dismemberment, though, this scene is diminished greatly. This, the, I mean, they do have one beheading, but mm-hmm. even then they had to hide it behind a fucking pillar. Just so happened that the camera goes to the pillar and the head pops off. And then you can show a head fall. It's so stupid. It's so fucking stupid. And I hate it. And then it, when Morgan gets killed, she doesn't get chopped in half. You can't. And there's no blood spur. Nope. It's just. It's oh, you got a little square. Two little <laughs> squares. Yeah, light up in so the, she can come back. Green. So she can. No, come. it's not because you just come back. It's because they don't want to show blood and dismemberment, <laughs> and that's unacceptable. Because imagine how horrific it could be. Those those scenes. These fucking zombie troopers. You're hacking them to pieces, and they're Sweet. still coming out to you. That. Like the imagery is way, way cooler, fucking better. Or just make them a threat. Like I, I know that like I've already given up that Disney can't show dismember dismemberment, but Disney can show fast moving stormtrooper zombies to make them like holy shit, this is a problem. It, they they got back up and what did they do? They just fell back down with no problem whatsoever. And then they just slash. Uh, apparently, when you hit the light switch on the wall, doors automatically shut. That's a Star Wars law; always has to happen. And then they just disappeared forever. Come yep. On. I, I get you want fast zombies. It would definitely be a bigger threat. But I'm okay zombies. with it just being normal zombies. It doesn't matter, but they couldn't even do that right. So uh, Morgan is asked to stay behind to give them yes. more time. I knew from this moment that Ahsoka would be left behind. You know, And, and this is where it's coming. She's going to be left behind, and Ezra and Sabine are going to make it on the ship. This is what I thought at Same. that particular moment. Same. Uh, so then Ezra and Sabine make it up because, as Alex pointed out, uh, Morgan's like, not a step fighter. <laughs> and she's like, oh, wait, no, wait, wait. Uh, Ezra, Ezra. <laughs> All right, you, you're not going anywhere. I just imagine Thrawn just drinking like Pepto. God damn it, I fucking hate these idiots. <laughs> no one, but nice to know about like, choke points. It's like okay. all this stress. So that's why Thrawn is losing. because Not because he's an idiot, because he's surrounded by idiots. Okay. Oh, okay. No, I'm, yeah. he's an idiot. All right, so then, so, so I, but, and, and really the only reason why so, so, uh, uh, Ahsoka stays behind is because she's like, I got a bone to pick with this bitch. I'm going to fuck her up. Otherwise, she's just like, whoosh, knocks yeah. her aside. No, only Sabine can force push. Oh, yeah, only Sabine. <laughs> So uh, so Ezra and Sabine go, uh, and they uh, get stopped by red and black troopers. I was going to call them elite night troopers, I but I noticed really later cool. on that they are death troopers. But they're dead. So they're dead. Death, death troopers. Undeath troopers. They're undeath. No, they're death, death troopers. Elite night troopers. Elite night death troopers. Elite death night troopers. Death night, I like. need Disney to tell me what these are called now. Uh, useless because they lost. <laughs> That's fine. They're, just, they're not supposed to win. I don't expect these guys to win. Just to stop them a little bit. And they did. They, and uh, I knew that shit was from the last episode. Why did I write that? I don't know. Anyways, Ezra and Sabine defeat these elites because mm-hmm. Sabine was able to use the force instantly and become a real Jedi. Yes. So happens. she's getting choked out and she sees the saber. And I knew this scene was coming the second they do the thing where she can't bring the cup. And I, I was like, like they're going to do uh, a Luke, on Bob. They're going to do a Hoff scene where Luke pulls the fucking saber. And it's just, we don't have to. It's like poetry. It rhymes. We don't have to do Some that because bad. George Lucas said it uh, all these years ago. And so she instantly pulls it. And you know what? <laughs> that is fine. Not I, 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 it's annoying to see over and over, but I will allow that one because, like, I'm going to die. Nobody is going to help me. I have to do this. And she pulls it three feet. If, she, if Ezra was going to die and she was afraid for Ezra's life, I would have allowed yeah. that scene. I, I don't, yeah. yeah. Or even better, you could have Ez, like, it comes to her and she's, like, happy, but it was, you could see off screen, it was, like, Ezra, you know, or he, Ezra's helping her. That would be cool, too, because, like, not everybody has to be a fucking Jedi. And apparently, they were, were trying to make a new cast of Jedi it's for a new Jedi porn. order, and they want Sabine to be a part of the Jedi. That's fine. It's just annoying. Anyways, so she does that, but the part where it just goes too far is you know, the next part. But before we get there, uh, Morgan defeats uh, Ahsoka. Which I never really believed in. Like she, you know, she gets staggered. I'm like, what the fuck? 
And and you know, and then here comes some night troopers and they start shooting. Uh, so like Morgan already looks like she kind of messed her, messed up Ahsoka and uh, they're going to go at it again. I'm like, Morgan is not on that level, but OK. And then night sister. So then there's even more tension or supposed tension. And then Sabine or not Sabine. Maybe Ahsoka gave her more this, powers. Boo, 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 boo. Nobody thinks to shoot at her legs, <laughs> but she just, I guess she would have gone down there as well. Didn't at that point her second lightsaber get cut in half? Not yet. Oh, She's okay. still using two, so that's cool. And then we get the stupid force push pull thing, where Sabine now has full Jedi powers at full accuracy, and all the power that she needs to do the thing. I wonder to do force to speed do. to like fully just send us to fucking cartoon <laughs> land where she just like. <laughs> Yeah. She, if we're going to go to Cartoon Land, then do the scene, and then remember when Ezra misses, he actually just misses. <laughs> and she goes off. Oh. fucking credits. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dumb. Oh, God. <laughs> I, thought, I honestly thought that would have worked. <laughs> No, Hu Yang would have been. Dead Hu Yang would have been down there and, you know, lifts him up and, yeah. yeah. There's so many ways they could have done it. <laughs> she uh, just uh, su- success. So, oh, Alex, you just fucking fixed it, man. What? I would have been. I would have allowed that, right? Where they do the force pushing thing, right? And 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 she does it, and Ezra doesn't doesn't really <laughs> get enough. They show that he, oh, she just needed maybe one more foot, but no, show that it doesn't do anything, and that's. No, and then and she's like, no, but then uh, Disney fi it and Hu Yang comes up. That would have been fun. I would never trust her ever again. <laughs> he shouldn't have trusted her the first time. But it, it's if you want to do this He's cartoon love. stuff, that would be fun. That would be in Rebels. It would be in Rebels. So she watches. Uh, okay, so she successfully uh, if for, does the force pull, and there are two night troopers there watching it happen, and then they get fucked up as Ezra beats them up. Um, and then it's her time. She looks back and she sees Ahsoka losing to Morgan. And that's when Ahsoka gets a saber destroyed. And, uh, I thought again, she doesn't help. She does the jump with Ezra, but surprise, surprise. She didn't jump. She's not alone. And then they fight. I was like, all right, cool. She stayed behind with Ahsoka. Uh, and Ahsoka cuts down Morgan with her own blade and her saber simultaneously, but it, the, neither of those blades are powerful enough to cut a person in half. Just give them a light scratch, and then they fall down. And she even has to fall down. No guts fall out. I didn't expect that, but that's what should have happened. She's still but, alive, though. But she, and, and she falls over, and she even covers her wound with her hands so that the camera doesn't have it's to see. It's She's so alive. Stupid. And it's lame, and I hate it. Anyways, but the fight itself was uh, well choreographed and, and it was cool. So then they go after the ship, you know, or no, Thrawn goes, destroy the fucking uh, headquarters. And the Night Sisters are like, mm, all right. And then this, and then we're showing that. But then we show the ship, you know, and the little night troopers trying to shoot at the ship as the platform crumbles. And then all the green lasers are coming down. They all blow up, but they can't catch up to the ship. And Thrawn opens a channel. And declares his victory and jumps out. What does he taunt her with? So, hey, I know your master is. Yeah, yeah. We may never meet again, but um, how I defeated you is because you're just like your master. You didn't defeat me. What the fuck? Yeah. You should have left a long time ago. I don't even know why you're <laughs> still here. You should, you, I didn't know you were going to blow up the, the stairs. You should have done that. You should have led with that. And, and he would have been like, up, uh, <laughs> up. Uh, Shut up! Just, just shut up, Ahsoka. <laughs> I won. You lost. Bye. Beep. Yeah, it's a great villain. What a baby. Great. Anyways, <laughs> leave, they leave the. T- <laughs> but Ezra made it. So he puts on. You can tell he's gonna put on the uh, trooper stuff. Ezra loves putting on stormtroopers. He's gonna get that so guy it naked. Works. <laughs> it works. <laughs> it's been in Rebels, and uh, and then uh, so uh, Ahsoka uh, sees the owl. Um, so Morai, this is the daughter, uh, kind of <laughs> essence is in the owl and mm-hmm. just reminds her that, you know, she is now a part of these Mortis Gods thing from the storyline in Clone Wars, <clears throat> the Mortis God arc. And then Shin goes to the Raiders and ignites her saber. 
The Raiders are like, this, this is, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> What's going on? Who's <laughs> that? So the Raiders died that helped them, right? Yeah. <laughs> Who's that lady? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's work for her in season two, I guess. It's so stupid. <laughs> And her storyline is so unsatisfying. It is. She's in search for power, so she's going to get her own army. Everybody gets their own army. You get an army. You get an army. You get an army. She didn't go back. I mean, the whole thing was like, you have ambition. Or you, I sense your ambition. You should go and like take your place. And instead, in she's empire. she's now leading an army of the Valley of the Dirt people, and Nowhere. she's just like going to be eating slime off a rock. She didn't even go with Thrawn. It's not there. like Thrawn, Thrawn wouldn't have let her on anyway because he didn't like the the motherfucking guys. Anyways, uh, then uh, Balin is on the statue of two ancient men. And this was before I recognized them as the father and the son. Cliffhanger. And I'm like, <laughs> other people were like, what? Why Why are we in middle world? <laughs> uh, Who is this? Uh, general audiences have no fucking idea what's going on. I have to look it up. Like, yeah, if you're watching like, what, this, what is you're, this, you're Cliff? a significant other. And they're, they're, what? Thrawn jumps to Dathomir with a. There's and it, it, it's so perfect that the series ends on you know mostly you know they're them looking out, them staring out you know because that's how it began and a lot of people are complaining there's a lot of staring out into the distance and Balin ends his story by staring out in the distance <clears throat> and fucking poor Ray will never get to see you know him continue that and I guess that's all they gave him and I was like that sucks but they didn't know and we didn't know. All right, so uh, Thrawn jumps to Dathomir. So he doesn't even get his big scene that I wanted so desperately. Me just fuck too. up the alliance, and the alliance is like, holy sh... Uh, the New Republic is like, holy shit, we're in trouble. Nope. Are he just know? jumps to Dathomir. <laughs> right. And, and and they show the coffins. He's got a nut, maybe 10,000, whatever. Just a small army. Not a big deal. We just turbo blast them. And uh, so we're just we're just reviving the Night Sisters. I think the Night Sisters were pretty cool. It was one of the cooler yes. new factions in Star Wars from the Clone Wars. General Grievous went over there and fucking killed them all uh, under orders of Count Dooku and shit. And uh, even Asajj Ventress became a Night Sister and tried to fight and help, but you know it's not enough, and they all died. Except, and then I guess uh, Filoni was like, mm, that was a mistake. Let's uh, let's retcon that, and now they're back. We're going to re rebuild the Night Sisters. Fine. And Thrawn is highly allied to them. But honestly, um, there's multiple ways they can do this Thrawn thing. Thrawn could be killed by the Night Sisters. They, they could, you know, they... That alliance could blow up in, in his face. Like, there's an alliance that kind of blows up in his face in the books. So that could be one potential. Another potential is we're only 20 years away from the Disney fucking trilogy. And we have to... You know Disney's going to try to tie this into that. So we have to eventually have the First Order rise in the Unknown Regions. So it could be that Snoke kills Thrawn. You know, he's getting too much power, and then he kills him, and, he, you know, whatever. Oh, God, no. But I think they're I think they're trying to save it. Maybe Ezra gets strong, because Ezra's the only one that goes back with him. So it's like him and Ezra, you would think that he's got this fight, he sacrificed his life, went into the unknown regions. They have to give it to Ezra, right? Or maybe it's Ahsoka, because they, 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 oh, we'll never see each other again. With Disney, that's literal. They'll never fight again, <laughs> right? But remember when maybe, I said kill you last? I lied. I, 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 I was I was telling the truth. <laughs> I never see you again. Uh, and 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 Ahsoka's destiny lies with fucking with Balin and stopping whatever that shit is and letting other people deal with Thrawn. I think that might be the case, you know. And he, he is where he needs to be. We are all where we need to be. You're in a different galaxy. While well, Thrawn is gonna fuck up the galaxy. Okay. I thought they were just gonna pick her up. <laughs> That's Who's gonna pick her up? Hera and everyone else, whatever. Like, hey, they're over here. Cool. Let's go pick her up. Well, they All gotta right. build a superstar destroyer ring, I guess, but then they don't have the coordinates because the map is destroying. I don't know. Maybe Ezra took the coordinates <coughs> down from his little shuttle. Follow the uh, migration of the whales. Mm -hmm. Perhaps. 
So, uh, Thrawn John, uh, so Ezra managed to escape the Star Destroyer in an Imperial shuttle off screen. Uh, off screen. Never show it. They show he shows up to a New Republic headquarters, uh, fleet headquarters, and Chopper recognizes him first, which sucks because normally I could tell what Chopper's saying. This thing, I think everybody's got lazy. It's like we're just all right. Hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> I can't tell what Chopper's saying here when I normally can, and, and so that made me. Mad. I I have a question. Um, does does that shuttle not have? Communication capabilities. Did you not think he was going to get blown to fucking hell and back if right, he showed up is. in an old Imperial well, shuttle? Well, they are, they are, they are being escorted. So the, that that I believe. What I don't believe, and it's, what I agree he, with. This you is Ezra. This is Ezra. Go blow me he, up. He, he keeps his helmet on the whole time as he walks out for dramatic effect. Takes it off. Well, but maybe his, that is an Ezra thing to do. <laughs> he didn't tell Hera that he's like, hey, I'm I'm Ezra. Don't blow me up. It's an yeah. Ezra thing to do. They, they're New Republic. They're not. They're not just going to shoot somebody for showing up. Um, <clears throat> Ahsoka, Sabine, and no fallout for Sabine's dumb decision. No talk with Ezra. And in fact, she gets told, you did well. You did yeah. great. You did, you did well. I, I, thousand, I, would, I would say hundreds of thousands, if not millions, are going to die because of your stupid decision. But then I realized this is Disney. This is Disney Star Wars. Ain't nobody dying. Undying. Are they going to show a bunch of rebel ships exploding? Because if they do, all of the, that is uh, Sabine's fault. What? There's no good guys die in Disney. Like all, there's no tension at all in this entire season for any of the good there's guys. Two like pilots. You, yeah. Did you know the names? Died. Ahsoka, Sabine. That's why I said those two pilots. <laughs> Ahsoka, Sabine, Shin, and Balin left behind on this planet. So you got you got all the Force users. Sabine feels something. But uh, and she's oh it's just shadows in the starlight, uh, and she senses Anakin's Force ghost, mm -hmm. but only uh, Ahsoka can see it. And so maybe they're teasing in season two. We can have more of them talking. Fine, N and he probably has to know something about the Mortis gods. Maybe he is currently the father, and they're going to do something where Ahsoka is the uh, daughter. She technically is already, and then maybe Balin becomes the son, or they're going to do the storyline where uh, Abeloth, the mother, is calling out now that the Mortis gods are dead, except for the daughter, uh, that the, her prison, because in the books, uh, they used black holes the Mortis god built, the Mortis God used the Force to influence insects to build space stations that created black holes that locked Abeloth in a different mm. space. And then <laughs> when when the uh, Mortis Gods die or pass away and then the, sh the space stations blow up, Abeloth is released. So are they going to do that again? I don't think it's going to be exactly the same way. I think Balin's going to... He's searching for a way to stop the cycle of the fucking Empire yes. and Jedi. An Empire and Jedi. What can break the cycle? Nothing. It does make sense that Abeloth could maybe break the cycle. But Abeloth is such a deep cut. And honestly, it's kind of sucked. Even in the books. Even fans were like... That was the greatest character and the greatest stuff. But maybe they could do it better the second time around. I don't know. But I just feel like it's so deep cut. Maybe they should try a new character. But uh, maybe they should really work on doing like normal characters and establishing like normal heroes before we get into like weird space god stuff. I think we're going to space gods because then if they did that, Alex, they'd have to do another emperor level person, right? I would I would be How? down for With an the ancient sequels? Sith. An ancient Sith would be cooler than this Abelard. Yeah. Be why? Because uh, there's mystery behind that. We had a current Sith, which you could argue that the Emperor doesn't. He's not a he. He's a new Sith, right? And he only knows modern Sith stuff. Maybe ancient <laughs> Sith stuff is even more. There's dangerous. a lot, bunch of immortal like, right. Sith that unlocked immortality. So, so that I would have been more excited yeah. about in, in than Abeloth. I just think Abeloth is too deep a cut. This whole god mother, it's, it's too much. And tentacles, I, I don't. Know. <laughs> Anyways, um, not at all a satisfying ending. I mixed on it, uh, and uh, does it does move forward? Rebels cartoon. It is Rebels season five for a smaller segment of the Star Wars audience. <laughs> Um, but I don't feel like this is worth the now likely two-year wait that we're going to have. Uh, I'm a little disappointed. Like, I needed to be satisfied yeah. and excited for the two-year wait. I'm disappointed, and now that two-year wait feels too grueling to care. Yeah. Um, and I don't want to feel like that. 
Because, I mean, I'm, uh, I wanted this to succeed, as you can tell. Yeah, me too. I wanted it to be good. It, it, did, it does succeed. It's just, <laughs> it could have been so much better. It's just a shitty time period for Star Wars. And I don't mean like in real life. I mean in the Star yeah. Wars history. There's because not a lot to work with here. It, like we're backing right up and to something that I don't think any of us want. And so it's like, oh, we're going to bring Snoke back. It's like, please, God, don't. I don't want Snoke back. I think and, that's why, yeah. And then and I also, it's like, what could, what could Thrawn do? And it's like, well, not all that much because right. then the First Order would so never is So that's why the most interesting part we found was... The Balin stuff. The stuff that we don't know in a the galaxy we're that, not familiar yeah. with. And the stuff in this galaxy is significantly less exciting because he can't resurrect an entire army of <laughs> sisters. And then for them just to be like, eh, no big deal. 20 years later when there's a massive you know, right. threat. We know Space the, the Nazis are running around everywhere. Aren't, aren't, yeah, they're not ruling the galaxy. And they weren't in the Disney sequel trilogy. So we deal with them. So the, the reason why the Balin stuff was the most interesting is because that's stuff that's new. That we don't know what's going to happen. And it could bring a bigger threat. And that's the stuff they decided to drop the ball on. And they were like, here, have the Thrawn stuff instead. And it's like, okay, we finally get to see Thrawn. Ma- uh, Mads Mikkelsen does a great job. But it didn't feel... Uh, threatening enough, Papa Smurf. As much as Sab- it's as much as Sabine series as it is as Ahsoka's. Yeah, seasons are too short at eight episodes. Yeah. Um. And there's the Abalon, uh, Abaloth hint, but Disney is so more simple than people think that they are. That they're gonna probably. Oh, simplify I think we know it. how simple people over at Disney are, <laughs> especially the higher ups. Well, that is it. Yep. Um. <laughs> Uh, talk, I, I am excited for the future. We ripped it apart, we, uh, you know, but that's our job is we were disappointed by the last two episodes, both ending six out of ten. Alex and, and Joe a little lower than that. Um, but I do think overall of all of these live action series, it is uh, a, right above the middle uh, 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 of the pack. So mm-hmm. it could get better from here, and we hope it gets better from here. We hope Dave Filoni is listening to the feedback, takes that, and moves forward with it. Uh, for real Star Wars stuff, we need to be going to 10 or 12 episodes. And I think that will fix a lot of the problems. Why are we giving Andor, which is real Star Wars stuff, but it feels like it can work anywhere. You know what I mean? And and this is mainline series stuff. And you only want to give you, eight. But you know why. It's because no, I don't know why. The, the, the Disney, it's about streaming numbers. They need the, the most amount of eyeballs on the thing possible. And that includes, and Disney said this specifically, includes younger audiences. I don't think that they, when they're designing these episodes, they're like, hey, we've noticed that younger our younger audiences drop off post the 40-minute mark, post the 45-minute mark. They don't want to sit through an hour-long type thing. And so, like... I disagree. You, I don't, I, that that doesn't make sense to me. Uh, the the Star Wars audience has grown. Okay, they're already making kids series, tales of young Jedi, mm-hmm. and animations. I think that there's no reason that these are eight. They feel lazy. They feel truncated. They feel rushed, and I'm fucking tired of it. And I know you are because I am. you're the one that noticed it before. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't like it at all. But so I do, I th- it needs to go to ten to twelve. Period. But I just you just know that there's a bunch of actuaries over at Disney ca- crunching the numbers, going, "Hey, man, we notice when we get past this this mark, we make less money. We're not hitting the Nielsen ratings are down here and here because it's." It's content for but I think consumption. It drags out that that hype longer. It keeps people on board longer. And the only reason to do it is because they don't they they're scared. They don't want to fuck it up. They they keep it short. They keep it truncated. They let you fill in the blanks in your anime in your with your anim, imagination on your mm-hmm. own. No, uh, you know. And with stuff like Andor, they're like, yeah, we already know Andor's gonna die. Whatever you can do, whatever you want, you know. <laughs> and they were like, oh shit, you guys did a pretty good job. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it, now you're making us look bad. <laughs> it's like yeah. the anyways. Yeah. All right, well, that's it. Thank you all so very much. Mm-hmm. Uh, now we have a grueling uh, two year long wait to see how this resolves because the film, this is weird. The film is techni- was rumored to be 2025, 2026, right? So we know that there's skeleton crew coming next with Jude Law with the Goonies. Probably not going to be good. Probably, uh, and it's not for me. It. I don't know why people think it needs to tie into this. I don't think it needs to tie in, but people think it's going to tie in. I don't think it's going to tie in. Uh, the acolyte, which has uh, the chick from Matrix, um, Trinity from Matrix, 
Okay, and nice. it was supposedly uh, the reason why I was excited about the acolyte is because it's supposedly about a Sith acolyte. It's going to show Sith from a Sith perspective. From what I saw the trailer, it's nothing but High Republic Jedi. I'm like fuck. All right, maybe it's because you know they want to bring in the mass audience and they don't think Sith can sell on its own, which you're fucking stupid. It can. Yes, it can. <laughs> yes, it can. But hope. But I think it's just going to be High Republic. It's going to be from the Jedi perspective instead of the Sith perspective, and and I don't know. And I I've, I've never liked the High Republic er- era, but this we'll have to see. Andor season two. I know it's going to be good. But because we're winding down, not much story material left. I'm going to assume it's going to be a little less less than Andor Season 1. Uh, and then Mando Season 4. We all want Mandalorian to succeed. We, we don't want another Season 3. We want it to go back up. So I hope it's Season 4 will It's not Mando anymore. <laughs> yeah. And then Ahsoka Season 2. That could be really juicy because now they have no excuse. And we're really diving into it. And then we have the Dave Filoni film. That's how I think it's going to go down anyway. Thank you very much for watching, and Mm -hmm. we will see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys.